Hello, Kau. Kau apa, Kau? Ini kan tuh aku belum bisa pun, Kau. Oke, tangki, tangki, Kau. Kau masa? Kan harus lu terus. Mau lu terjadi, Kau. Eh? Mau lagi. What a Thank you. We may sit uh, while we are standing. Sorry, while we are standing, um, we will open with the national anthem, and thereafter the Nama anthem. <coughs>
born at the background of very soft music. <coughs> we will now call on Apostle Rupi um, to come and open for us with the play. Um, I did not introduce myself. I will be the director of ceremony for the day. My name is Sima Leipert. Um, I'm the director for development planning and have been requested by the chairperson of the Hatta Regional Council to please preside over these proceedings. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you, program uh, director. Uh, I will greet all the chiefs of the committee as it is established. I want to meet uh, a very short scripture from taking the direct scripture of the day from Romans uh, chapter 12, verse 12, as it is read. Rejoicing in hope, persevering in tribulation, continuing in steadfastly in prayer. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. On this memorial day, dear Lord, we pray for those who courageously laid down their lives for the cause of our freedom. May the examples they sacrifice and inspire us through Jesus Christ. Bless our country, Lord, our leader. <coughs> our fallen heroes and heroes. Lord, we pray this morning that you bless this garden. Whatever we do this morning, Lord, let your presence be with us in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray through Christ, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Before we go to our welcoming remarks, I want to make a few acknowledgements. I want to acknowledge, first of all, the presence of the Nama Kauku. Um, I also, that are seated here in front of us, I also want to acknowledge the presence of Kautaras Koper. I want to acknowledge the presence of all the senior councils who are here from all the 10 um, Nama traditional authorities are represented here. I think it's only Franz Fontaine um, that couldn't make it due to unforeseen circumstances, but the rest of them are represented. I want to acknowledge the presence of our host, um, the chairperson of the Art of Regional Council, Honorable Dongsa. Um, I also want to acknowledge the presence of Councillor Estazen and also the Mayor of Marinta. Um, I want to acknowledge the presence of all the pastors, um, all leaders of the different churches with us and all the members of the Management Committee of the Art of Regional Council, if they are here, Mr. Kutsia is here, I can see. Um, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We will now go over um, for the welcoming remarks by Her Worship, Honorable Shireen Kok, um, the Mayor of the Marinta Municipality. Marinta Konatri, can we do the Sikro Ika Aldit, the Sikro Ika Pahadeiri Kwena? Hey, Eos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
that I consider Ms. Madam Sima Lieber. Good morning. Thank you for the profound honor and privilege this morning to welcome members of the Traditional Leaders Association with a common cause in the fight for a restorative justice. I am informed that your gathering here today is threefold. <coughs> Number one, I understand that you are here for a training workshop offered by Onani on traditional leadership. Secondly, today marks the commemoration of the attack on the Bakui traditional claim at Horankrans. <coughs> I have it on good authority that you want to pay tribute to the loss we suffered as a nation. And lastly, and that you want to prepare for the genocide commemoration at Shark Island on the 22nd of this month in Lugans. Distinguished traditional leaders with your delegates, let me welcome you warm heartedly to our regional seat. You are the driving force in the guest for the restoration of our human dignity that we lost at the hands of colonial imperialists during the genocide. Your steps and zeal are so inspiring and encouraging. And we can only forward <coughs> to a very positive reward for your efforts. I do not have the list of participants at the training and at the meetings in preparation for the Shark Island visit, but I wish to extend my most welcome to each and every one of you and encourage you to fully participate in these activities that brought you to our beautiful town. To the technical team, I am fully aware of your efforts and I want to assure you that none of your steps go unnoticed, how small they may seem. Keep on doing the good job and you shall soon see your rewards. I, I wish to join you on the 22nd of April in Lutherans with the commemoration of the Ovaheron Nama Genocide. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you so much for listening. Feel welcome. Thank you. Thank you, um, uh, Honorable Mayor Sharin Kok, for the very warm welcome. I hope that everybody feels at home now. Tonsi and Sarah Gura Tansano. That's right. Now, for me, it can be like a Tuan pun dah April, ikk nama di kami saki an an general phone pro dan tirami kari bah tengah cerita. Aku ni hendakkan nama nanti kau mahu itu konsentrasi kami di kaki gue, syak ayam sikit ni sak. Nee kuri lagi turun nas ase, nama dah ase, kau syak ayam si si. Ina aku lagi untuk kau, mana mesti kantan sama, kau semua dah kesal. Tinggi hilirkan kau na, na di perkara kau. On the twenty second of April this year, the twenty second of April is the day on which the extermination order was given by General von Trotta that every single nama that is alive should be shot or they should be killed they should be pursued until they leave this territory they shall not exist anymore so they were taken to shark island where they were supposed to perish but those of us who are here today we are the descendants of those who survived this horror for the first time in the history of an independent namibia the Nama leaders have decided to call all the Nama people um, together with the Ovaherero traditional authority to call all the Ovaherero people and all the people indeed of Namibia to come to Shark Island on the 22nd of April this year so that we can remember those who seem to have been forgotten. So everybody is invited to that event. We shall continue with our program um, with a short musical interlude. Thank you. Thereafter, um, 
Deoda Dirksa will give us a short background of what exactly happened um, on the 12th of April, 1893. He is the Secretary General of the Nama Traditional Leaders Association Secretariat um, and also heads the technical team. He will give us a background of Holland clans. Good morning, Maura um, I'll just skip the Protocol that was already presented to us <coughs> by Seaman and then also uh, worship the mayor of Mariana. There are actually three things that I would like to touch. Uh, one is what happened on the 12th of April at Warren Clans in 1893. Two, 
how significant is it? Okay. And thirdly, what is the position of the Nama Leaders Association on that date? Those are the three important things. Monakuna Begini Kurin A and Yalas Dina. Urusi Tai Eki E. 12 April, Akhtin Dreeninda. Tamsi se Masko se Ine Nai Kaisa Clara Kawitha Chins de Kaisiba. Tim Mulan Chin se Ential Asa. Nama how Nasita Kuya Kusara de Kaugu Tin Hausa Maman Kusa Kuma Ne Kusa Chins Ay. Uru Sedaka Uo Twelve April Ske Chain Hara Ebitra Mike Hagi Wu Uru Se Nikiki A Hua Kawi November Akin Twain in Da Ekao Namaka Ucha Roka Tiba Kishu Hua Tiki Kadi Duit Kut Kao Tiba Kihan Tiki Kadi and I began it on a good for Francois. Do it cook the bar. Neba Gao of the Nancy again. Neba Aganua Gao Samuel Isaki. Now taking last time. Tweak me car coy. Tweak me coy. Neba click a tank of time. Teach me Kaisa. Tie the art. The very first and the most important is a prelude to the date is that there was a peace signed in Swakopmund in November 1892 amongst the Herero and Nama. And there was peace promised and had to be prepared to be signed by Good von Francois, the German, and then the Nama leader Gaub Otter Nance for the point out. There was a discussion on peace, and this was again assured through Deputy Gaub Samuel Isaac to the Tobese Trap and to the king of the Tobese and the Good Boy. Therefore, there was no need for Gaub Bird Boy to worry about any enemies and to have sleepless nights or to be readily prepared for any attack. That is the first that happened. Now, on the morning hours of 4th of April, 1983, while Autonomous and his tribe was asleep, and the place in good from Francois' own words was a place of tranquility, there was calmness, and peace. But because they sent spies to study the setup of war and guns, from which point to attack and what are the potential escapes, they had to move at night. So good from France or moved his troops at night, planning to attack in the morning of 12th of April. And at that moment, around one o'clock in the morning, he gave the orders that says the main objective of this mission is to exterminate the Vilpoi tribe. Now this was the first time that such an extermination order was given to the troops with the intent to exterminate. Now, ยังเป็นทุนสินใจจริงวันมาเนี่ยจะทุนกันเว้ยเนี่ยเป็นทุนจริงวันมาเว้ยสามยาวเป็นสี่ในกี่อาทีบุคคลที่ในสี่นั้
again 90 percent were women and children. Only about eight elders, elder men, and two boys or teenagers were killed. One of them was Hogan Nansep's own son who couldn't walk, who could only crawl, but he was followed and he was shot to death. Hogan Nansep getting Kain Sasanai, Uruko Baki, Don Kahani, Oti, Uruko Tau, and Hanun Tini, and Marita Toro Badi, Kaisa, the Piking Kanya. They get to make the Quaker Wow, the Kutlinga Aroshi Kam, the Tar Titan Hu. Okay, they said that we are not all people. They are um, um, that it's too much. So, I can see when the two of us are going to come. They have a what comes to say that we said is again. I come, we missed nine nine are near the we sent one. I'm sent the caddy to our own again. Oh, we like a good in the mass and the bar. No, me kind of anti. Having <laughs> uh, our government said came down from the mountains after the Germans left. We started with the burial process, at least to give uh, dignified burial so that the people cannot lay, lie around like that, burned to death uh, and killed in the most horrible manners. So that funeral took place. And after that, they followed the German troops. We know what happened afterwards. They, while the Germans were still traveling to Bendup, they passed the Germans without them knowing about it. And eventually they rescued those people that were captured. Now, that's more or less what happened on that particular day in Warren Grants. That's the right to speak Now, what is significant about this date? What's significant is it was done in a time of peace. People were sleeping peacefully. Peace has been guaranteed. The place had tranquility. You have no enemies, nobody to attack you. That's what's significant. Because what happened on, in Warren Crowns throughout was applied during the later wars, because this was the beginning of the war. So you will continuously see that peace was first negotiated, and in time of peace, attacks were done. It was not a fully-fledged war where you expected a war, but it's after peace is negotiated, and after peace is achieved that the attacks were taking place. Now, I said, I can talk to us in the moment. Puro, I said, 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 Comes a city, Tiska comes a inqua, or to claim by the night taken it, to claim by the night one carugo, to go claim by one carugo to a lapke to it in a in a unfound time. One I now Skako Samuel Isaac 
կարան մակապտեք իկուր ու իտեղ հանձայն դրեք թեք իկուր ու իտեղ նոցակո մանք ինձ ցուկ կախաբեի նա ցնիկ կապնոս գիտի մարդ կինա հաս սո դասկի տուրո սիգնիֆիկանտ կայ 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 ստիզան ցարի դա անցանց կին էսկի տուրո կայ սա աբե սա օրա կայ էսկի ցարի կայ սե սիգնիֆիկանտ տարա դի ցիտուան դի նաման նայ դու ցի նաման որ գունա ตัวรุ่นน่ะวายดมอันดาอุดันนั้นสิทธิ์ทางนี้สัตว์กะสุขุมัยตาคุติเนติติดิรมีดิโอไกทาวไชสตบะกะซีจิกะตัวรอมุ
I have outlined what happened in Warren Crown on 12th of April, followed by the significance of this day. But thirdly, what is NTLA's position on this date? NTLA, together with late Advocate Rukoro, Department Chief of the Arab People, may his soul rest in peace, uh, submitted 12th April as the date that should be taken as the National Genocide Remembrance Day. Because it is the beginning of everything. It outlined everything. 12th of April was the very first, and NTLA considered that date as the beginning of everything. There is another date that's floating around, that is the 28th of May, the date on which the concentration camps were closed. But NTLA and then OTA's uh, Parliament Chief Rukoro looked at that date as well. And we couldn't find any significance for that particular date because the killings did not <coughs> primarily happen in the concentration camps. Equally, it had no significant uh, meaning to close the concentration camps if the killing continues. Hmm. Therefore, it's either we look at the date where things started. I also like to in Manas and Dialas position, and Dialas the 12 April saw genocide in the instances as a moon. The Nark has a parliament, the cabinet, the Yahua, all one go advocate the Koro as the Tunzo. The Kazari, the team and how on, they can give Seski and Dialas a coach, you can eat Haskia Garden. United Nations so, in many corridors you hear, 12th of April is not known, and it's unknown, but it complies with the definition of genocide. An order was given to exterminate a group of people, and there was a partial kill or extermination. Many people were killed, and therefore it qualifies, and the fact that we don't have education or an education system that looks at these things does not mean we must look away from the truth.
we must accept it and we must embrace it and look at it. Kaisikai Kankans, thank you very much. survive Warren Kranz, if she did not survive Shark Island, if she did not survive Okawayo concentration camp. That is why even though it is a somber day, it is also a day for us to celebrate who we are. With those words, we will welcome Gaup Ishmael, that boy, in order to give us some remarks.
Moro, kain ko ang. Kain kang kang sirado. Alip din, kain ko yaw. Ang araw sa, araw kong kong sa. Minyirin. Ni suwaro sa, kain ka es, araw mang. Ni ke, Kaisa ya kaisa ini. Kamu sekarang ada ikon. Kamu sekuma ya ikon. Kami kuasi kosa se kaikon. Kaiko se kansta. Kuma yang cipta kasi ni cinti kanso se. Kami kaiko se cintam. Anska, ni tayo si Jesus kine sa. Abi lagi ni Jan kabe pita ay tulaw sa Jesus. May sa ukuro si, tuwa taka otoh pa. Kung manisku sa inyong kaisa, kahubul ko ay kide. Ni Jan, ni Arus ni Charles, ni Profesor ni Charles, tuis kay. Kosa si, abi lagi ni ay, tuis si kama amuron na ha. ไอ้เสียงที่ฮาร์ดีไอ้สกีเชสเนี่ยจริงๆสกีสักเท่าไหร่ใครเสียงใครก็ไปได้มีเดิมมั้งมองผู้เชื่อรู้สักเท่าไ
七六人啊，刚开始开的先。即个一件，哦，马里个哈开始，就我好多人阿爸讲那个五号，我来个来讲，不管中央去哪啊，湖南个卡路去开始，湖南讲那个哈去卡路，我来黑罗街，我做阿拉阿拉斯卡，带阿拉哈西，阿拉讲，多巴古巴，多阿拉古里哈吉阿哈，阿多南斯吉。Kau ayah sana membiak kamu si, topa bal kuli ka akar, kau rot arma kali, kau benda ni macam apa? Kau mabjai, kau dengan ayah kau ni, kerap jai, orang ni kau kerap jai orang kau ni kau kau kerap tu ni kau ni kau ni, orang tu pun kau ni, dah nasib nasib nak jadi kau ni kau ni, kau ni kau ni kau. Oh, kami ni akan dua puluh lima atau teruman dua puluh empat belas. Tahu tak? Ada bawa yang tidak dilakukan. Tahu tak? Tidak dilakukan. Kawan cari kudi. Jika saya jenis saya tidak memberikan. Oh, di jenis saya tidak memberikan. Kawan cari kudi yang awam. Oh, lagi tabel lagi kan? Tahu tak? Tahu tak? Kami nama kami adalah kami tuh kau tuh kau kau se kami tuh yang se. Kita pun sudah kami mikirkan. Ya, namun gua yang aku dah je, mesti kau nak kalah kita dengan kita. Oh, kami dah kita kan kita kan pun ada orang lain. Nanti je, coba sekali sekali kau pun jadi kita semua berdua pun. ตัวท่านบ้านนี้ง่ายใครสักที่ตัวสักหุ้นคุณมีออสการ์ง่ายใครสักที่ตัวสักหุ้นคุณมีสักอีกเท่าโอ้ที่ตัวสักง่ายใ
on that particular child. Even if we talk a lot about the other things, let's think about the 12-year-old boy who could not run, who could not walk, who was born like that. But at the end of the day, even as he crawled to the river, he was followed and shot in the head. He was 12 years old, and it happened on the 12th of April. Please, let's remember that day. And, and commemorate it, and let it be a national day for us in Namibia. <coughs> then, all, and, make him and make him the 12 year old Klein Hendrik Wurtboy, also a hero in our nation. Then, Gaub Wurtboy Ismail, Gaub Ismail Wurtboy, together again as a member of MTLA leadership has made two requests. Again, the terminology of the words that suits you best, please make use of those words to action. What Gaup is saying is, take out politic from genocide. Because it's a reality. Let's not politicize it. Let's not look at it and see ourselves. And if we don't see ourselves in there, we want to change it. Please, take out politic from genocide. But if we can't take out politic from genocide, then let's grab genocide and take it out of politic so that we separate these two. And then Gaub Bird Boy reminded us that time does not stand still. Time moves on. Whether you are old or young, you die. And let's have this genocide issue tackled wholeheartedly to find a lasting, amicable solution. Let's not argue we are young, the next generation will solve it. No. Let's de deal with it and deal with it once and perhaps for all to make sure it stays permanently like that. In his final words, Gaup Ismail Bertboy read out of 2 Corinthians 4 to 9, but in summary it reads, we are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are renewed day by day. I thank you. Thank you, Dildad, for that summary. <coughs> we will have our next speaker um, who will be introduced by Gau Panzer. Um, he will introduce Gau Isa. Um, before the introduction, we will all rise and we will um, call Gau Isa after the introduction um, with the Nama Anthem. Dama, what's going on? Yeah, I'm going to go to the Nama Anthem. I'm going to go to the Nama Anthem. 
Dari kami pos, ibu. Ibu. Aisyah kau bawa lagi ni gua. Kau ini kita kira kau cari pos pandang si cara kau. Tolas di tuan si kau ikut lagi. Kau lagi kau harus pas. Tolak kau lagi siapa kau ini? Kau ini siapa? Kau ini buka. Kau ini sini kau nasi atas kau ini buka. Amar bosku asli dia abu na, si na abu nuiya. Tidak dua aku jadi si tolong kita. Aro masa dah jua, si dah jua ibi ibu aku mii, ngabun awan nama badan ini, main kas, main kah, tarik pun aro main kar kui kau dan kau tolong kita macam ni lah mii. Kerja awak je, busi singgura ni ya, cuma kerja. Orang tua kan cuma kerja. Cuma kau tak mangka. Cina u boleh sabu, si singkai awak ramai kan? Edo, wah, niaki. Si ke. Kumpulan ke, cina mungkin ni jual rob tak kau kanga, kau orang ini tali ikan kuah. Jika jual rob pada kakak sendiri, tapi mungkin pada tanya kalau cina ni tali ikan kuah sendiri kuah. Okey, Eka, apa sendiri? Eka tidak kesepas. Tetes berkat di jenama. Masjid Armas Harkundi. Kuas tadi. Umi umi main. Aku sedang main. Orang je harap yang anak orang ia cari nama cai tui. Kaji tui i nama cai. Kaji naik tu, kabar kami ini. Kali banjir tahu ke orang je mana aku nak? Kau sih tuh itu anak juga. Nesket di kau sih. Pos mana ibu kau itu mi? Tadi ini mi. Si kami ni tuh, ni kali banjir pun kau sih uas na ibu je ahaga. Kira kau belum, jis kau sahaja, kau ni kau tu, kau ni cara bantuan si tu, saya dah nak. Jadi nom ami ayam ma, si tu jenis tu agak kiri, aku jila mu, aku kan ni kalau kata aku sihai, nasib bos mana, dan kami tahu. Si tu je. Oni hai tahu nama aku di kimi, tuan si kimi si kami ni ni kawa hai kawa si kimi, mai di kami ni masih di dalam kami tu. Oke, nama aku ahai kimi, hari ini aku taras ngah kau si tisna aku mai. Tuan ke hati ke na? Ngan kami lau ayo, kumpa nampi apa na? Cik kali kara kan ngan aku si sembro nadi, cik kabe eka hatui, si dah ka? Tis kira dia usah angkai ayo. Mana nak kau mesti, mana si sem? Iki kami cor. Nak tak kau mai ya? Ini aje tapi bi awak nak kuat demi ini. Kali kat ha awak sih kuat sih lagi kali ini. Jadi ni, kau ini ha kuat amsa. Nuhu ba asih sen tau ha. Tidak ada yang kaisa mana. Unang kaisa tunggu mana. Nak kau lagi lagi. Um awak sih jadi ayah ayah mana kau batawi? Nampak bi ha? Kuasai kita ini, kau sih kau ini saya kais, 
کاوشی است که آب کی کایی است کی کایی تو آمده کی رفته ایم نه تو است این تاب خب کی تاب دی بیش ای نه تو این خمی خوان خمی کی سیب کرمی بخی آم کاوشی است آم تو آم خاله کی رفته ایم چی آب کی نیت تو آب نبا دل تام کن سب کایی خبی मानता है जिम्मी कंसा ना क्या जवानीस काम जवानीस की सर तो उसे कहीं नहीं खोली इसको बंद करो आए तो ठीक आओ ची ऐसा विशाल सिंह
12th of April, like today, is a day that we have to um, maintain and sustain for several years to come. Because of what happened on that particular day regarding our people, leaders, let me say, first of all, to us, dear God, to stand by to maybe translate some of the statements that I'm making. Interpret the meaning to you. Say Remembrance Day, 12th of April, is a very important day for us as farmers, people that have been affected by the happenings that has taken place. Uh, greetings to all this afternoon. <laughs> Let me say every good and perfect gift from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like sifting shadows, as is stated in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 17. Anything in our lives that is good and brings joy is from God. Shadows can change depending on the light and the objects, but God does not change. Memory and history are powerful actors, like we are doing here today, which shape individual identity and in a very surrogate way. Memories which are accepted by the broader society in which individuals live, become part of the so-called collective memory. But collective memory can contradict history because any memory of the past is socially constructed and it adjusts events in favor of certain groups of people or societies. World's history is focused to produce accurate and objective information. information. When the Namibian police launched the so-called Operation War in Crimes to fight crime in Namibia, the NAMA Traditional Leaders Association, NTLA promptly stopped the government to use the name of Warren Grants because NTLA immediately realized that the two events of the 12th of April 1893 were constructed to adjust our collective memory for Warren Cups. Uh, the current debate in our National Assembly regarding a Genocide Museum and Genocide Remembrance Day uh, once again reflect the negative revision of history, which is created to achieve specific identity for ideological and political influence. This denial of true history to gain influence is destructive for a nationhood as vanity blinds our political leadership. If the majority of our ancestors 
we killed outside. Uh, some called death camps. And if the announcement for closure of camps on 28th of May did not halt the genocidal acts of the Germans, how significant is 28th of May for Nama and Obahero genocide victim groups compared to 12th of April? which was the first crime of genocide on our soil. Shadows change, can change depending on light and objectives, but God does not change because God is absolute truth. Truth does not change. Almost 90 Nama people of which 90% were women and children were barbarically killed in the morning hours of 12th of April, 1893, while they were asleep in a place which presented a picture of tranquility. The so-called joint declaration is not interest in God's honest truth and therefore deliberately exclude genocide victims of war crimes. But truth <coughs> will not change. Equally, German troops committed crimes of genocide during times of peace as evident in the case of war crimes. And or after peace treaties were agreed upon with Nama leaders such as Gauk Cornelius Friedrich, Gauk Hans Hendricks, and the deputy Gauk Samuel Issa, after Germans successfully negotiated for peace on instructions of Kaiser Wilhelm II. But this is deliberately omitted from the said joint declaration. NTLA has no choice whatsoever but to fight for the nullification of the so-called joint declaration to ensure the foundation to negotiate for genocide, genocide apology and reparations are just and fair for restorative justice. After the loss of lives, land and properties, we still observe public institutions of Namibia, such as the University of Namibia, you know, is quoted as saying that the regions with the high populations get higher quota allocations, or a teacher claimed by such institutions openly states that no Nama should have been allowed to survive the genocide. While the Vice President of Namibia states, regionalism and tribalism will not survive in Namibia. Is this not the same government? Or is the hypocrisy and contradictions necessitated by the fact that the extermination order against the Namas were never withdrawn. Our position on restorative justice must not change because of earthly sparkling lives <coughs> and political ambitions, adjectives, objectives. We must jealously guard against negative revision of the history, which is aimed at destroying our ancestral inheritance. May the souls of our ancestors rest in eternal peace. In the name of our Lord and God, I thank you.
Tapete to the road. Tapete to the road. Walking. Tick him. 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 Tick อ่าแกคุณบ่พูดถึงนอกว่าคุณเกตตาบาคาสมมีเกมาตมาบ่คุณนาไคสขัดตาบาไกคาตมัสไกโยไตหูมายนาหายนายขาตาบาคาบ่
the chairperson, Honorable Dongsa. Um, so we will have as our next speaker, Honorable Dongsa. Thank you. Thank you, Director of Ceremonies. Um, I actually just wanted to shift because normally when we pray and close, everything ends. So I cannot then have a remark afterwards. <laughs> Therefore, I wanted to make the remark and um, perhaps the word thanks also before the prayer and the benediction. Firstly, also allow me to acknowledge the protocol is established. My understanding, my gulps is if I would translate gulp to English, it would say king. If you say king, then kings can never be kings without a kingdom because it becomes a dominion of the king. Kings owns everything within the kingdom. And since they own everything within the kingdom, the subjects also are owned by the king. The relationship between the king and his subordinates are that the subordinates always want to please the king. Because when the king speaks, they do not retract what they have said because they can't. I can refer back to what the Bible, for instance, said that um, and, um, there was an incident where there was a king and he said uh, to the girl, if you dance for me, I will give whatever you want. He couldn't take that word back. And she said, I want the head of John Paul, John the Baptist, on the platter. He didn't feel good about it, but since he has spoken a word, that word cannot go back. That is the same place where I placed my kings. I do not know where the chiefs are coming from because if I could read on stones that were written in the year 1695 and maybe earlier than that, um, were the, my traditional authority is that it states Gaul. So then, from those years, you are already kings. And therefore, you are supposed to be accorded that honor and that place. Today, because we have decided to go into a democratic state, you to be recognized and acknowledged by a government was you were already kings before Namibia came. Samarasus and Kwak 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 and Kwak. If, and maybe allow me to say in my heart today, last time when I was stood here I was very emotional. Today I decided to, to say exactly what is on my heart. When my king, Ismail the said, take the politics out of the traditional issues. <coughs> if not, take the traditional issues out of politics. I was feeling good. I had goosebumps. Because that's exactly the place where the traditional authority is supposed to be without any ties to a political affiliation or a political party. So that there is any person who has any political party is any that you can say as it now the folk to their home and say, Kerk, he is good for Kerk, he can not so proud with my men, because kings would rule over Lutherans, over the Romans over the Pentecostals. And therefore, if anyone would say something that is detrimental, detrimental to 
the traditional authority. They are the ones to tell whoever is within to say, stop, don't do that. It was basically all people got the hook. Today, people wants to exalt the Namibian nation. But mine is the fiber of the Namibian nation is diversity. <coughs> there are Namas, Herros, Damaras, Swanas, Bambus, Kamongos, and each one of us do have their own culture. It's important that we also need to know that whatever you celebrate encapsulates your values, <coughs> your norms, your culture. And that's why just yesterday and the day before, we were <coughs> in remembrance of what Jesus Christ did. In the absence of that fact, Christianity is zealous. <coughs> it basically means nothing. Because if Christ had not died and rose again, then Christianity would have been nothing. Because it's based on the substance, on the key matter, the cardinal issue, that we can overcome death and therefore have eternal life through Jesus Christ. If we ourselves are not celebrating our own, who is going to do that for us? I was thinking while I was sitting at the year of the time, it's okay to do the fact that on this day, it's 190 and 200,000 years. <laughs> that what we have chosen is pressing us down because of a number. Because we are less in terms of a number. And the system that we have chosen, which is a democratic system, works with the number because the majority rules. And therefore, must we be always subjected until Jesus comes? What must happen? And therefore, I'm calling on the Namibian government in terms of unitary state, because I represent a regional government. The Electoral Act states that I have my mandate from the people that elected me. And the people that elected me are majority in this region, Tamaras and Namas. And therefore, whatever they say in a majority, that sentiment I must carry, because my mandate comes from my electorate. And therefore, my support also of what my leadership is saying, the 12th of April, to be the day to commemorate, to remember what has been done to the Nama people, where it started. I subject myself, therefore, to my kings, to what they are saying. 1976, my king Ishmael Mepoy, 1976. <clears throat> when there was only Oppo early years, and people that are talking today about tribal issues were basing their basis from a tribal background. When that started from there, we know what happened in the United States. <coughs> that the acknowledgement of representation in the Namibia, or then the Southwest Africa, was not right. And therefore the request to have others and other tribes to come and join the movement so that we become relevant as to what we requested to get rid of the apartheid regime. And therefore on that basis, my understanding from what I was told is that the, the number leaders came together and made a decision in 1976 and say, let's go and join.
with the humbleness <coughs> that I have, my chiefs, I'm also then asking you, take us out from where you put us. You took us there as namas, as namas. Take us out so that each one of us have their own choice to go wherever we want to. But as a group, you took us there. Take us out. Lastly, we are a creation of Article 102 of the Namibian Constitution. The regional council, the local authorities, as well as the traditional authorities. The heading says, regional and local government. You are part of a government. But to my understanding and seeing where you are acknowledged, it's much to be desired. Because you are not part of the planning for your people in your region. You are but making <coughs> recommendations and advice to a president in terms of land. But as to say what needs to come to your people because of which I am a regional chairperson, it's your people. Before there ever was a Namibian government, you were already here. You had your land already. And therefore, I am also to be guided by what you desire for your people. And therefore, my request also to the Nama Traditional Leaders Association. We have requested you to become part of a forum which we call the Holistic Approach. So that all Nama leaders sit on the same platform with the regional leadership to make decisions for their own people. It has never been done in Namibia. We need to have it here. The number leaders must say where the hospital must come, because it's their people. They must have a say in where the third road needs to go. And we need to open up that platform for our number leaders to participate in decision making. My number leaders, my kings, we are going to sign an MOU. We have postponed it on the 17th of last month just because you were not there. I'm pleading to you. Please consult with your technical team and become part of the development of Hatta region. And I have so much wish that this also is duplicated in the Kalas region where my dog Isaac hails from. I so much wish. Lastly, Romans chapter 6 verse 16. And maybe I must read, maybe I must read that specific verse. If it takes long, so I can maybe copy it says, so I can get All what the kid says, mark me a Chital, three close to the beginning. Namas is the two remark of our kids. Master, Hannah, I love you. Romans 6 verse 16. Do you not know that to whom you present yourselves slaves to obedience? You are that one slave whom you obey. That tells me that that is a decision that an individual person and a group and a cluster and a committee takes together to subject themselves under a certain person, organization, or an institution. The moment you do that, you become slave to that master.
make yourself slaves, you are kings. Remain kings. <coughs> Tell <coughs> your subordinates to have the banner fly high. Call on your young men. I'm very cold. Very cold again, I'm cold. I will not use it as a platform, therefore I'm also going to say this. Because of administrative reasons, this was the southern region. And it was divided into two, as Karas and Hatta region. Since then, We had been at the mercy of the numbers. To the extent that the former president came down and saw that things are really not right and sent the commission down here. And then they found some said drunkards, some said lazy ones. I'm not lazy. But what's him more again? Always that I'm not lazy. I'm not a drunkard. But your classification tells me that something went wrong with the Nama. Something so deep that it goes through generations. But what can in 1893 what in 1904 what in 1907 what what can happen? Die boere wat so kom met die Afrikaanse boere en vir ons mens in het baas gesê. Daai hele effekte het soveel op ons lewens that it has become a generational thing. That we feel <coughs> ons voel baie minder waarde. And then the issue of the number came to the extent that in 2018 Obert Konjote said, because of the plight, we are going to invest 833 million to the southern regions. That's specifically to the Karas region. In the budget of 2019-2020, it was 831 million. But the years live for the same like a mensa. Because the diamonds are here. The lithium now is here. The green hydrogen issue is here. The oil is here. The dam that people thought would be filled in 10 years, God did it in 12 days. When they cut down there. Mine is, and this I'm going to tell at any platform where I get, to the president, to the ministers, I'm going to tell them, please do not frustrate people to the extent that you will have to kill them. Don't do that. Don't get to the place where people are emotionally agitated to try to stop roads. And therefore I know my leaders are listening. And I'm a chairperson of a region. And in terms of my mandate, I'm here to account in terms of Section 18A. I'm here to account to the government 
in terms of the inhabitants of this region. People are frustrated. People are hungry. People are not happy. Namas, Tamaras. Everyone in Hardam, Hardavians, and the Scottish white man said, the Karishians, the Karas people. <laughs> Maybe you too, Karishians, have courage. Was what near the Islam marons found me. Was what Sir Kier marons stand here up. And you will never see us down. To me, now I see what moves in my mind. Sit sit on his knee on the skin. Ning asa control the kitty. Tapo ni ning asa sa. President Singh no agit sit. Tang ba sin tang? Please do not get us there. My chiefs, you have the support of the regional council to have the day of 12 or April declared as a national day. Mm -hmm. you have our <laughs> From the local authorities that I lead, you have the support of the 12th of April to be declared as a national day. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chairperson. Um, we will have the vote of thanks. After the vote of thanks, we will have the, the prayer, the closing prayer and the, um, and the benediction. Um, out of thanks from the Afrikaner traditional authority, acting now or or all man. Thank you. express our gratitude to all the dignities to grace this commemoration with their pleasures. We thank you. Our profound appreciation goes to the chairman of the regional council of the Great Harder Region, the young man who walks the talk and who has availed his time and council resources make this commemoration day and it's success. Honorable Thompson, the NTLA bestows its blessings upon you and your council <coughs> in your quest and future endeavors to make this great region the heart of the region, the great region. Please 
for every party, each and every place, and live together harmoniously. To the Gavu of the NGLA, are the traditional uh, councils. I just want to say, Gavu, we appreciate all your efforts. coming to the um, closing of, of our program, but before we close and while um, Pastor Mate is making his way up, I would like us to take a moment of silence um, in remembrance of Gau PSM Quarter. Last year, we were in this very same building, in this chamber, he came one morning <coughs> to my office and he said to me, something is bothering me. And he said, go and call Tosa. That is what he said to me. So we were both confused and didn't know what is upsetting our king so much. And he said on that day, he gave us the instruction the 22nd of April must be commemorated in this chamber. And it was the last time that he said right here um, to commemorate the 22nd of April. So I would like us before we close just to stand for one minute in remembrance of Gaub Pierce and Cooper, um, whose widow, whose wife, is also present with us.
we may sit down. Um, Pastor, please. Vader, baie dankie. Dankie vir hierdie dag, wat u aan ons beskikbaar gesterd, almachtige koning Heere. As dit nie u was nie, dan was ons vanochtend nie hier nie. Maar u het het moendlik gemak, dat ons in hierdie dag, u naam kom groot maak, om u naam te kom erken, om u naam te kom loop, om u naam te erken, dat u een ware God is, dat u van die begin af een leier was, en dat u leiers aangestel het, om die volke te leier. Vader, Heere Jesus, Christus, Heere, ek kom dra, hoor en krans op, almachtige koning, Heere, met sy volk in die grondgebied daar, kom gee ek dit in die hande, almachtige koning, Heere, dat u daar die grondgebied sal sien, en dat hy grond gebied sal spoon maak met die heilige bloed, Heere. Vader, Heere, ek kom bid vir die namme volk, Heere, wat so gesikkel het, almachtige koning, Heere, en hulle stand steeds recht op, almachtige koning, Heere. Daarom loof en prijs ek u, almachtige koning, Heere, dat u ook die herros ook ingetrek het, Heere, en ook saamgestand het met die namme as almachtige, Heere. Vader, Heere, ek kom loof u, Heere, dat hulle ook gestand het en vir u en vir hulle volke geveg het die ware Jemense Heere vir gerechtigheid daarom kom pleit ek al machtige koning Heere dat u die namme volk hier in die syte waar orals waar hulle is die ware koning Heere kom pleit ek dat u vir hulle sal sien Heere dat u vir hulle sal sien met die kostbare kracht Heere dat u vir hulle sal salf met die kostbare heilige geest om die rechte besluite te neem, die ware koning Heere. Daarom kom pleit ek by u, almachtige koning Heere, dat u almal wat vanmorgen hier ken woorde is, Heere, kom pleit ek die bloed van Jesus oor elke een, almachtige koning, oor elke een waar hy nog beweeg, Heere, elke vierkante meter, Heere Jesus, Heere, bespringel dit met die kostbare heilige bloed. Die ware vader, Heere, ek kom sê baie dankie vir alles wat u vir ons doen. In Jesus' naam. Amen. Kom ons op van die sien. Vader wat in die hemel is. Ek ontleid by u, almachtige koning Heere, dat u hemelse vinsters sal open, almachtige koning Heere, en dat u die weisheid sal uitstop oor elke volk, so dat ons die land met weisheid kan leid. In Jesus Christus naam. Amen.